Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, my girl showed up and showed out. The women were in black, the men were in blue, and they are just sitting there uh, looking at everything unfold with their grandmother's funeral and stuff and them going out looking at the flowers and cards that the uh, subjects or the fans that had left at the gate okay yes Charles that's Charles he is the prince he's the king of Europe now I don't know what they're gonna do about that because it seemed like he might start back drinking really hard. Really hard, hard, hard. <sighs> and he had been waiting to be on the throne for so very long. So very long. And now we can see what they're going to be doing with that. But they, they just hate Megan. They hate her. And at first I thought maybe it's because she's black. No, mm -mm. they hate Megan more so because she's trying to change up things on what the royals do and how they're seen and the clothing uh the schools all of that that the um the people of europe or the citizens of europe they expected her to toe the line and do whatever is expected of her that the others had to go to as, go through as well and hey, they did Diana somewhat the same way, but a lot she had a lot of more people loving on her and hating on the Queen than what they were experiencing with Megan. Megan just coming out right out the right out the box. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna raise my children over here. They're gonna be raised uh, in California or wherever she called herself landing in which i think it is california she wants to be over there with her family her friends people she can trust because of hatred posted signs like that and probably people telling her in her face or yelling it at her that she's no good she's not a royal she's fake this that and the third and it's just so much you know a person can literally take of that type of hate you know but we got angela a writing for people magazine and she titled her article every photo of william kate harry and megan's emotional reunion outside of windsor castle yes prince william and kate middleton asked prince harry and megan markle to join them as they met the public and viewed tributes to the late queen elizabeth outside windsor castle on saturday the fab four are back again okay that's them the, well that's what uh, Europe has named them over there, the Fab Four. I'm like, they ain't got no superpower. What the hell are they talking about? But anyway, well, it says, Crowds outside Windsor Castle on Saturday were pleasantly surprised to see Prince William and Kate Middleton joined by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their walk through other tributes. Huh? And then it says, Brothers Unite, meaning the two brothers are back again. <coughs> and I'm like, okay. Look like one is going bald headed and the other one is uh, beginning to go bald headed. And they are young men, people. They are young men. Got a whole world on their shoulders. Ooh, well, Harry still can play here and there. But William had to step up his game because anything happened to his dad, then he's going to be seen as the king. Okay? You get it? Got it good. And I don't think he's ready for it. And I'm to tell you the truth, I don't think he really want it. You know, it just is what it is. I wonder if he's still fooling around on Kate. But anyway, going back to the article. It says the newly minted Prince of Wales personally invited the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to join as they meet or they met with members of the public at the entrance to Windsor Castle. 
Okay, they are in mourning. Both couples took time to look at the tributes and talk with mourners who lined the castle entrance. And they were dressed for the occasion, the fab four. All four were dressed in black and navy. As they stopped and spoke with children and adults of all ages who made up the tremendous crown, I mean crowd, emanated chatter. Okay, Prince William thought the walkabouts to greet the crowds was an important show of unity at an incredible difficult time for the family, a royal source told people. Taking a look, Kate and William recently moved to Windsor, making them a short distance from Harry and Meghan's UK home. Frogmore Cottage, which is on the Queen's Windsor Castle Estate. Megan and Harry, who moved to California in 2020, are expected to remain in the UK until the Queen's funeral, which will take place on September 19th. Oh my goodness. So, they come there for almost a three-week tour? Okay, okay. See, that don't make too much sense to me. You know how I feel about it when a person died and she's been on her deathbed for so long. They should do it like they do it over here in the States. Do not have to go through all those morning, morning things. Hey, they died on Monday. They buried on Thursday. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. That's how it should go over there. But, you know, we're in the uh, Western type of America, okay? But going back to uh, underending tributes. Okay, queen crowds of people stop Jalen have flocked to the castle s since news of the queen's death was announced on Thursday, leaving flowers, flags, and memories. Pugnant monument, a pugnant moment. The reunion among William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan was poignant as relations have been strained between the Duke of Duchess and uh, Sussex and members of the royal family in recent years including an ongoing estrangement from William and Kate. Okay, finding comfort. Megan offered a Harry an embrace as he took, uh, yeah, took in the tributes to his grandmother. Grandmother. Okay. Complete surprise. A source told people that security was not expecting both couples at the walkabout. Yeah, my girl had to show up and show out on y'all asses is what it was. She get tired of y'all putting her in the uh, corner. She get tired of y'all talking about her uh, publicly. All right? So that's why she had to show up and show out. She probably didn't want to be there anyway. She probably hated that the queen died, but as we live, we shall die. But she came and, and, and um, because I thought she had, they were going to have the funeral today, uh, Saturday, the 10th. I mean, what did they got to do? They got another whole week and a day to figure out, and they bury her on a Monday? Really? I mean, what did she sitting out for? It don't take them long enough to just dress her body up and put a little makeup on her and put her in the, I don't know, is she going to go in one of those vaults or is she going to go in one of those uh, grave sites right next to her husband? Who knows, okay? But I'm glad she showed up, did her little thing. I mean, that's a long, I mean, what time did they get there? Did they get there this weekend? Because that's a long time to be gone. Because most people fly in, like, the day of or the, uh, the day before. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that's too long of a wait out. It's too long, folks. Too long, but that's how the British get down. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I will see y'all on the next video.